Welcome along tonight. We begin the news at 10 with a look at Idaho's vaccine rollout. A little more than half of Idaho's population is fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Another 6% have received at least one dose at 58.5%. But who is getting the shot? Look at these numbers. The higher the age, the higher the vaccination rate. But when you look at Idahoans 12 to 15 years old, just 28% are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Medical leaders are reporting a rise in pediatric COVID cases. And while the demand might be lacking right now, whether it's opposition, hesitation, new data is showing promise for youth vaccinations, even younger than what's already approved. Our Katia Stepovic joins us in studio tonight. Katia, what does this study show exactly? Well, Kim, the Pfizer vaccine became available for kids 12 and older in May, as we know. So it's been around for a while, but the company says trials are showing great results for kids 5 to 11. I spoke with one medical expert who hopes that this will boost Idaho's rollout as cases rise in schools and as we know in the community as well. The results of their trial, according to them, are extremely positive. That is, these younger children uh, achieve the same high level of antibodies as all of us and the children over age 12. On September 20th, Pfizer published promising findings from a trial involving more than 2,000 kids 5 to 11 years old. Not long after that, the company submitted its data to the FDA in an effort to seek emergency use of its vaccine for children 5 and older. So what's been given to children is a lower amount. Um, and you try and, in a sense, titrate or get that exact amount for younger children that will give the normal antibodies, but you don't want such a huge amount that the kids get an overreaction to it. The process for this trial was familiar, two doses, 21 days apart, but they lowered the dosage and saw similar results. In the initial data that I've seen, and particularly under the circumstances where billions Billions of doses of COVID vaccine have been given all over the world. I, I feel it's incredibly safe. And quite frankly, what we're seeing here in Boise and particularly with the schools, this is our, our way out of this. Dr. David Peterman, CEO of Primary Health and Pediatrics says, while many parents are eager for their kids to get the shot. I've had parents ask me, will my child get their first vaccine before Halloween. Vaccine hesitancy is still very much alive. I have never experienced this response from parents for vaccinations. I haven't. And this uh, group of parents, uh, maybe in my practice, it's 30% who absolutely do not want vaccinations and don't want to discuss it. And I think uh, pediatricians and family doctors throughout this country are worried that uh, that it may be that children 5 to 12, even less of them, will get vaccinated. Peterman admits that parents need to be comfortable with vaccinating their children before making the decision, but he says the data backs up the push to expand the rollout. These academic scientists are very, very careful, and so I, I am very comfortable uh, giving this vaccine uh, to children. In this case, because they've decreased the dose, also, we've given it to children 12 and older. I feel it's particularly safe, and frankly, it was only a matter of time till we found the right dose for uh, younger kids. Mm -hmm. Now we're also entering flu season and Dr. Peterman and other experts say it is OK to get the vaccine and the flu shot at the same time. That goes for parents and children. Kim. Yeah, that's good to point out because, you know, most of us are going to be getting our flu shots coming mm -hmm. up and then if this gets approval, maybe that might happen at the same time. So all right, Katia, thank you.